CNA staffing turnover will be a top focus, federal official vows in the first ever CNA staffing summit, and an urgent hiring initiative to combat nursing home staffing shortage in Minnesota would pay CNAs up to $25 an hour. This and more, next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, October 28th, 2020. To stay in the know of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Turnover among certified nursing assistants at long-term care facilities will be a top priority for CMS going forward, a top agency official pledged on Tuesday of last week during the first ever CNA summit held by the National Association of Healthcare Assistants where experts explored how to address and solve CNA staffing challenges within the industry. Quote, turnover is something that I really think we really are going to now be able to focus on and turn our attention to a lot more in the future, said Evan Schulman, the director of Division of Nursing Homes at CMS. Quote, everyone always comes to the agreement that staffing is the number one issue that affects our industry, Schulman explained. Research has shown that CNAs represent about 60 to 70 percent of nursing home expenses and that the group provides 80 to 90 percent of direct care to residents, noted David Grabowski, Ph.D. and Harvard Medical School healthcare policy professor. He also explained that the more prolific CNA staffing has often been linked to fewer issues like deficiencies in hospitalization and better outcomes among residents such as higher satisfaction and quality of life. Grabowski also reported that the annual rate of CNA turnover is 129%. Despite that, CNAs are often paid close to minimum wage and less than half have any health insurance coverage through their employer. Medicaid reimbursement isn't sufficient enough to help curb this trend, Grabowski said. Quote, basically, you get what you pay for, he explained. Sabra Healthcare REIT CEO Rick Matros noted that with all the public civil unrest, now is the time for the industry to include CNA staffing issues in the dialogue. That could look like better focusing demands for workers and suggested having a minimum wage standard of $20 per hour for CNAs built into the cost component of every state's Medicaid system. Seven career CNAs also presented their perspectives on how to engage, recognize, and recruit direct care staff. The CNA presenters were Lisa Shepard from Illinois, Corinne Ganchinitz from Missouri, Celeste Wooten from Virginia, Sheena Bumpus from Oklahoma, Sherry Perry from Tennessee, Angel Jackson from Arizona, and Tammy McLenay from Oregon. Schulman noted that CMS wants to focus on all issues that negatively impact CNA workforce, which should also include addressing emotional support for workers, hiring, comp hiring competition, and payment reform. He added that providers will see, quote, more from CMS on turnover in the coming months and years. Had this pandemic not occurred, you probably would have seen something already. The state of Minnesota has launched an urgent hiring initiative to help long-term care facilities struggling with staffing amid a rise in virus cases, top officials announced this week. Quote, pre-pandemic, we have had staffing shortages in care settings across Minnesota, but what we're experiencing right now is really something different, explained Daniel Pollock, Assistant Commissioner of Continuing Care for Older Adults at the Minnesota Department of Human Services. Quote, as staff test positive, they're having to quarantine, which leaves care facilities in a precarious position, Pollock told local media. The Minnesota program is part of the state's long-term care battle plan, which was approved and funded through earlier relief legislation. The initiative aims to develop a pool of 500 available workers that can be deployed to nursing homes at least 14 days at a time. The program will pay entry-level health care workers, which include certified nursing assistants, up to $25 per hour, licensed practical nurses up to $35 per hour, and registered nurses up to $50 per hour. It may also include travel, lodging, and per diem reimbursement, depending on the situation. Quote, in the worst case scenario, in a handful of cases, we've had to have National Guard members come to the facility to really be the backup. That's got to be our last resort, Pollock reported. He continued, what we are trying to do with this program is to make sure we never get to the point where we have to evacuate anyone. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week, and I'll see you on Wednesday.